France, while Memorial Day has come and gone, that means it's time to turn our eyes towards summer. And Donna Reynolds is a home economist who joins us now to talk about ways to make the perfect summer tablescape, pack the perfect picnic, all things summer. And Donna, I'm going to put you on the spot really quickly. Okay. You look so cute today in your pink shirt. Can we, is there any way you can kick, kick up those little cutie shoes you have on too that go along with it? I don't know oh, if you can. Oh, can I put them, I'll put yeah, them Yeah, just here. kick a, oh, so cute. You look like you're ready for a picnic when you first walked in. I was like, oh yeah, she's ready. <laughs> they so, make me happy, what can I Donna, say? Donna, you and I are both thrifters. We love to yes. save money. We love to go to the thrift stores. We buy our yes. outfits quite often in that way. And let's talk about a table that you've made um, between dollar store, finding things outside. You haven't spent much at all, right? I haven't, and I like to collect things. My poor husband. Um, I like to collect things, so I never know when I might want to use it. So I have a bunch of soup cans and um, bean cans that I've had just stashed in a drawer, and I decided that let me get out the spray paint that I have stashed in my drawer. And so I just, instead of um, especially when you're taking them on the picnic or to the beach or outside by your pool. You don't want glass. You don't want things that are gonna break. So I just spray painted um, some of my favorite colors and I use those for, um, to keep my plastic wear in, which you can also use them as vases, which I've done over here. So I had a really tall can, um, which would probably be a tomato can, but in my growing up, it would have been the Hawaiian punch can. Uh, um, yes, you yes. remember? <laughs> <laughs> the little pop. So I just spray painted it white. Um, you can put a pretty ribbon around it if you want to, which is always nice. And then I just went out and foraged, which is something I love to do. It gives me something to do when I'm on my walks with my husband because he's serious about his walks and he doesn't like to chat. And then so I have to <laughs> find stuff to interest me, you know, keep me interested. So what I did yesterday is I just kind of walked around and um, saw all these beautiful things that are just on my sidewalk. So I have some beautiful um, bamboo, and it's much more beautiful probably in your vases than it would be growing in your yard, unless you really love yourself some bamboo. Um, I have some Queen Anne's lace, which I found different places that had those. And then I found the most interesting things. I found these little balls. And I don't, I didn't know what they were, and I was like, ooh, I hope they're not poisonous or have weird insects that come out of them, but I thought they were the coolest thing ever, so I had to include them, because it just added a little interest, um, a little different shape, and then I found out what they were. They're called a button bush. Ah, okay. Part of the coffee family, my, my son told me. So, um, and then on my way into the studio today, I saw these little beautiful wildflowers growing across the street underneath the overpass. <laughs> so I just popped and snipped those. And then these are from outside of the, the studio, actually. Um, I'm not sure what they are, but they're very beautiful. And they just are nice and light and airy. So you don't need anything super expensive. You can go to the flower store if you want, which is, I love to go to the flower store. These are just some little daisies that I found alongside of the road too. They just add a little pop of sweetness to your table. I these think are people do forget though that, you know, there are these wildflowers out there and when we were kids, we all, you would pick them, maybe bring them to mom, but then yet we forget that when it's time right. to set up a beautiful table. And um, I know also you have so many tips at your disposal. You know, when you're packing, for example, give us, give us, we have time for one quick tip, like when you're packing, say, a picnic. Okay, so if you're packing for your picnic, um, you want to make sure everything stays at proper temperature. So um, some tips are, is um, I take some grapes and I just pop them in the freezer and freeze them. They're super delicious when they're frozen. The sugars kind of explode in there, so they're a little sweeter too. And as um, they'll help keep your cooler cold, so as you, you know, they thaw, they're keeping everything cold. I also freeze my yogurts um, because, especially like when I'm packing, used to pack lunches for my kids, I would freeze the yogurt so by the time they ate it, it was, you know, really cold, but not frozen. Um, also use freezer packs, which are really great. They're reusable. You just pop them in your freezer, pull them out, and use them in your, um, your coolers. You can also, if you don't have those, you can fill zip top bags with ice and then use, as the ice melts, it creates nice, clear, cold water, which you can use to drink as well. Love so, it. Now we're totally in the mood for a summer a summer <laughs> picnic, for sure. And Donna, we definitely need to have you back because, you, okay. I mean, this woman can go for days and days with these wonderful <laughs> tips, and they don't cost anything, and that's what's fantastic. So, Donna, thank you so much. You're Donna welcome. Reynolds, and we're going to be right back with more River City Live. Don't go